My name is Noel O'Toole and East Galway, third generation O'Tooles in this farm. We're dairy farming on 45 hectares on this block here at home. We're using Sobek for the last four years. Well, we're fourth year into it now and uh, we haven't been using any P and K for that time. We're well satisfied with the results we're getting. We're heavily stocked so it's important that we grow the same amount of grass as we grew before we started using sawback. Bacterial soil goes on the outside blocks, the bacterial itch goes here in the home block. And we put it on the cubicles each day so it makes its way into the slurry. So we've reduced our nitrogen use by 40%. We soil test every year. That was my challenge when I started using sawback to make sure that our index is kept up and they're keeping up here yeah, and they're fine. Yeah, performance is good. Um, cows are very healthy. We have only a 6% empty rate after eight weeks breeding, there's no issues. On this block here, we'll be very subject to drought conditions in the dry weather, so if the land holds the color much better, the grass doesn't die off. It mightn't grow as much during that period, but it keeps very green and healthy. Soil quality and the texture is lovely, it's loose, and the earthworms are, well, we always had a, a good population of earthworms, but they have increased even more now. We're going to head out the field now. We have Francis and Tom here from Sawbex and we'll have a look at the soil and the grass. See all the, the, the worm activity before we dig it all. See all the lovely loose loose soil. They're all they're all castings, all that loose soil. That's a result of the worms working away the there. Yeah, so we've just dug up one little small scraw here now and we have found all this amount of worms quite easily, all within the lift of one spade. And you can see how easily the soil falls apart. There's no resistance at all. It's just beautiful loose clay. And we're after having a wet night now, so that, I mean, you can see that the, the, the rain is going, going right down through it. And the, the looser it is, the more oxygen gets down to the air. The roots, the grass roots can go down deeper. It's a win-win. If we look here at the roots, there's a massive amount of roots. So there's more activity underneath the, the earth than over it. We don't realize that and we just go and look for it and see. All these roots are so important to the grass for picking up all the nutrients and all the trace elements. And when the cows or the sheep or whatever it is eat the grass, they're, they're benefiting from all those little trace elements down deep in the soil. So you can see there, this, this, uh, it's like a scraw, it's a, like a head of hair and almost when you've seen reverse. Yes, I'm very happy with it and it's uh, with the environment we're living in now, it's important that we make change and chemical fertilizer is no longer uh, cheap or affordable, I suppose. So we have to change with times. About seven years ago, I started using sawback and then I was unsure and I went away from it and then I came back to it again and I'm quite happy now and I'm, I feel very confident that it's doing what it's supposed to.